Okay, so welcome to Math Story, yeah? and it's of this evaluation of functions. So we have these given functions f of x, g of x, and h of x. Then to solve for f of 3, so since f of 3, so therefore from f of x, but x is equal to 3. So we need to substitute this 3 to x from the equation of f of x. So we have now 3 times 3 to the power 2 because x is equal to 3. Then minus 4 times 3, then minus 7. So simplify, so we have 3 times this 3 to the power 2, this one is 3 times 3, that's 9. And this negative 4 times 3, this one is negative 12. Then minus 7, then simplify, so we have 3 times 9, that's 27, minus 12, minus 7. So therefore, f of 3, so we have 27 minus 12, so this one is positive 15. And this 15 minus 7, that's equal to 8. So therefore, f of 3 is equal to 8. Then for this given, so g of negative 2, so since g of negative 2, so therefore from g of x. But x is equal to negative 2. So we have now 2 times negative 2 squared, then plus 5. Then simplify, so we have 2 times this negative 2 squared, that's negative 2 times negative 2. This one is positive 4, then plus 5. Then simplify, so this 2 times 4, this one is 8, then plus 5. So g of negative 2 now is equal to 8 plus 5, that's positive 13. Then for this given, so h of 2, so therefore from h of x, but x is equal to 2. So we have now square root of 6 times 2 minus 5. Then this 6 times 2, that's 12. Then minus 5. So therefore, h of 2 is equal to the square root of this 12 minus 5. That's 7. So h of 2 is equal to square root of 7. Then for this given, so f of x minus 2, so therefore from f of x, but x is equal to x minus 2. So substitute this x minus 2 to x from the equation of f of x. So we have now 3 times, again, x is equal to x minus 2. So we have x minus 2. Then squared, then minus 4 times x minus 2, then minus 7, then simplify, so we have 3 times, so we need to expand this x minus 2 squared using this method, the S, M, S. So S, that's the square of the first term, so therefore, the square of x, that's x squared. Then this m, that's multiplication. So multiply these numbers. So we have 2 times negative 2, that's negative 4. Times x, that's negative 4x. Then the last s, that's the square of the second term. Or the square of 2. So therefore... That's 4 because 2 squared is 2 times 2. That's equal to 4. 
Then for this term, so distribute this negative 4. So negative 4 times x. This one is negative 4x. Then negative 4 times negative 2. So negative times negative. That's positive 8. Then bring down negative 7. Then distribute this 3, so 3 times x squared, that's 3x squared, 3 times negative 4, this one is negative 12x, and 3 times 4, this one is positive 12, then copy 4x plus 8 minus 7, then combine like terms, so start with the highest exponent, so we have 3x squared, since we only have one 3x squared, so therefore, bring down, then this negative 12x and negative 4, since the same negative, so therefore, copy the sign and add these two numbers, so 12 plus 4, that's 16x. Then for this 12 plus 8, that's 20, and 20 minus 7, that's positive 13. So therefore, f of x minus 2 is equal to 3x squared minus 16x plus 13. Then for this given, so g of 5x, so therefore from g of x, but x is equal to 5x, so we have now 2 times 5x squared, then plus 5. Then simplify, so we have 2 times, so the square of 5, this one is 25, and the square of x, that's x squared, then plus 5. Then multiply 2 times 25, that one is 50, then x squared, then plus 5. So therefore, g of 5x is equal to 50x squared plus 5. Then this given, so h of 2x minus 1, so therefore from h of x, but x is equal to 2x minus 1. So we have now the square root of 6 times this 2x minus 1, then minus 4. Then simplify. So we have 6 times 2x, this one is 12x, then 6 times negative 1, that's negative 6, then minus 4. Then we have now... Uh, 12x, then this negative 6 and negative 4, since the same negative, so just copy the sign and add the numbers, so 6 plus 4, this one is 10. So therefore, h of 2x minus 1 is equal to square root of 12x minus 10. So this is how to evaluate a functions.